Hello, Farooq Sahib. Thank you for taking the time. It has been a pleasure. I think this DPL has taken us to a, a new horizon. And your journey as the captain of a team has been quite phenomenal. Uh, this time, I think at this point of time, you have won all your games. Yep. Right? Yep. That, and you have played in previous DPLs also. Yeah, a couple so, of them. Right? At least two of them. Two of them. Two yes. of them, yeah. right? Yeah. So has this been a, a different journey from the, the other two? I'll start from that. Uh, first of all, thank you for the opportunity. Uh, definitely, if I compare from the last two, that was that one is the toughest because last two DPL has the local professional. This time, because of the minor league, a lot of international professional came in and they are participating in DPL, which is really good for Dallas cricket Absolutely. and DPL as well. So this is, I think, standard-wise, this, this one is the toughest DPL. That as per my uh, knowledge and last two DPL I played uh, one I played for Dallas Royals as a captain and we win the term championship and last DPL I played for Punjab Lions and again win the championship right. and I'm just trying to uh, give my best uh, and take the best performance for my the, all the troops all the mm -hmm. team and we're trying our best to win one more time absolutely and you seem to be on the road so far we have won all the games so there is no reason to say that you're off the track or you need to do yep. make any change in the strategy but it's still this different you know this dpl has been different first it is being played on many different grounds okay that makes a difference all these pitches are slightly different the grounds are a little small one has a slope one does not etc etc so how how difficult has it been to play on different grounds uh, so far Honestly, Anwar Bhai, as a professional, it's not a difficult. You have to manage whenever you play, whatever uh, pitches pitches you have, uh, what kind of ground you are playing. Uh, depending on the day, number one, if you if you apply your basics right according to the conditions, I think you will be successful. So it's not matter for us to playing fast ground or different track. As a professional, you have to manage and you have to work hard whatever the condition you get. And somehow adapt to whatever the situation demands, exactly, right? Exactly, yes. And it seems that, you know, there are several people who have come on top. Your performance has been excellent. There's another gentleman who scored a century yesterday. His performance has been phenomenal. Yep. Miland has been doing very well as well. So, you know, it's there is a background behind these performances. And I think that has elevated your performance here. Definitely, right? yes. Yeah. We have uh, such a great bunch of the people, some of the professionals, some of the amateurs, and some of the young players as well. So we're trying to promote them as a local players, as yeah. a youngsters. And definitely uh, the all three or four uh, outsider play players playing really well so far. Uh, definitely, Andreas is a uh, X factor so far for us. He performs really well. Milan did really good job today, and uh, Harmeet is a wonderful, uh, you know, cricketer. He bowled really well. He mature cricketer. He bats really well. He understands cricket. He understands situations as well. So we are lucky enough to have these people, and also local guys uh, like Seth Bai, like Adnan, uh, Rohan Manikar. Uh, we have young um, uh, Abhinav. Abhinav, we yeah. have Jafar in the side, we have Dixit, local cricketer for Elite Lines, couple of local cricketers for their club as well. Right. So that's a very good opportunity for them and as a leader I'm trying to give everybody a chance to uh, show their talent and we're trying to promote them as well with winning the, winning the games as well. Absolutely. And I have no doubt that, you know, these youngsters are getting a unique opportunity to learn. Yep. The, you know, you play with better players, you're bound to improve. Exactly. That, you, you, know, you learn every day. You learn every day. Yeah. Little things here, little things exactly. there. Strategy, strokes, what not. Yes. You know, it, it, go, it goes that way. There are so many parts of the game, not only technique. There's the tactics involved. Yes. They're on the spot. You need to change your decision sometime. Yeah. So hopefully, hopefully they learn uh, from their aspect regarding with the, their batting and bowling yeah hopefully they learn other aspect as well of the game absolutely even technical side i mean i saw you getting two wickets and two slower balls i <laughs> hope i hope people were observing it exactly you, because you need to read the situation you yeah. need to you need to read the batsman once once you're bowling yeah uh, who what uh, they have the strength and uh, which shot they have best shot so you need to bowl accordingly so I think it's it's just a matter of your experience and understanding of the game. Right. Today's game, did you take it easy? Not really. Not okay. really. Because my goal after every win, I'm targeting each one game at a time. 
so once we keep winning we we bound each other we our uh, the whole dugout our whole family this time look like we feel as a family we support each other that's why i'm just trying to build from the game one to make this team as a family so once everybody look after everybody which is make us more better cricketer make us more better as a team uh, this game we definitely we won five games but this game i'm trying to give some chance to new players definitely and that's a good opportunity for them but my focus was to win the game six out of six which is we achieved it yes. handsomely we achieved it yeah. uh, milan played really well uh, today uh, gauss and milan started really well then i chipped some runs just adjust myself um, and then uh, rohan batted really well so it's a good overall uh, batting uh, in the first inning and also uh, bowlers can bowl really well fielder will enjoy the game so that's overall our uh, uh, positives uh, today definitely we working on our fielding as well which is tough side in the playoffs we drop few catches we miss few fielding but every game we learn and hopefully we'll get better in the next game yeah was dew a big factor when you were fielding it's some time it's some time dew is a factor definitely it's uh, it's affect the ball ball gets wet uh for running definitely you don't have the turf wicket so you have to wear your Re- studs rather than you wear yeah. spikes so that's another factor if you wearing your spikes then it might help some oh, yeah. but uh, if you don't have the spikes in the ground and with ground is wet it's difficult so Agreed. we have to manage whatever the conditions are as a professional yeah. we have to manage and we have to give our best well hopefully you know we will make things better and better as you said i think there is an improvement from last time 100% yes so our aim is to improve it further the next step would be turf the, the moment you come turf you can wear spikes exactly you know exactly. so you get the grip even if it is wet you can still hold absolutely right? last five was you know as ntca you guys improve a lot uh league wise uh, dpl wise so hopefully in few years time we have couple of turf wickets in the ntca and uh, hopefully in the future we play dpl in the turf on the turf pitches which is great for the for the whole community i think it's not too far i, I would not be surprised if it comes next year hopefully okay. hopefully yes the issue would be that okay would we have enough time to make turf and light at the same time right I don't know. I cannot answer that. Right. But uh, turf, you know, is relatively easier to make than lies because lies seems to be right. a very expensive affair. I understand. Yeah. Right. But yeah. hopefully. But hopefully. Think positive and yeah. hopefully uh, things will come together and hopefully we have the turf wicket yeah. and the much more much more better ground with the lights as I'm, well. I'm 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 sure, yeah. you know, and as long as people remember that Rome was not built in one day. Exactly. You they know, need time. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah, they need they need time to build good things. But I think we are on the things. right track. Yeah. So hopefully one day we will get the yeah. turf wickets in Dallas. Well from our point of view you know you guys are providing us very exciting cricket which is not only good for local cricketers and fans but I think it is well received in the entire United States as well. That is that is what I'm hearing and that is what uh, our you know architect Mr. Devedi has been telling us as well. Okay. So you have now you have gotten the first place in the in the pool. Yeah. Now the next step would be T1 against T2 the first team plays yep. the second team yep. and then the winner qualifies directly to the final right so there's still for a championship there's still two more games to play exactly it's still right? far away it's yeah. still far away we are taking one game one at game. a time we plan for the next game we don't think about other games we definitely focus on next game uh, we will plan accordingly and we'll try to win the game Well, thank you very much oh, for your time. You, thank And you. anything that you are going to change in terms of the strategy for the next two games? For sure, accordingly in the playoff, uh, according to opponent, we'll do definitely some changes. Uh, but it depends on the day. So uh, okay. hopefully, hopefully we'll do best uh, uh, next day. Uh, tomorrow we have a, a qualifier. So. Uh, I'm excited and I'm looking forward for the next game. Thank you very much. We look forward to some more exciting cricket. Thank you very much Thanks. for having Thanks. me sir. Thank Take you. Care. Bye.